Hey everybody, so I'm back again with um, a review video this time of um, Clover by Clamp. Um, I really enjoyed this manga. I actually really enjoyed the um, the omnibus too. It's not um, like the binding is pretty good. Um, but also, I'm not super rough with my books or anything like that. Um, as you can see, I've got a ton of tabs um, on these pages because there are some beautiful illustrations in here. Um, absolutely gorgeous um, page layout experiments. Um, I really loved how experimental the panel layout was, um, especially like this type of thing, um, very, um, otherworldly and ethereal sort of feeling while reading this book. Um, I, I also really enjoyed the dialogue. Um, I was never really that confused about what was going on. I know a lot of reviewers say that, um, you know, they were confused or that the story is convoluted or whatever, but I was actually very intrigued by the idea of clovers and, you know, what they are and everything. Um, I'm not gonna spoil it, but I actually found that to be pretty fascinating and how, um, how the main character, Sue, um, has to deal with um, loneliness and how um, this manga deals with being isolated from society, you know, also selflessness in a way, um, because there, there are reasons why um, Sue is not allowed to be around other people. Um, and... It's, it's very sad, to be honest. Um, there's a lot of sadness in, um, in this story. Um, like, for example, right here, this conversation really pulled at my heartstrings, personally. So it says, I was four when I entered the cage. And then the main male character says, What about your parents? And Sue says, I never knew my father. My mother was afraid of me at first, and then she realized I was worth something. She turned me into the Cloverleaf Project and collected the finder's fee. She left before I could even say goodbye. And then you can see the main male character's face, he's very concerned and, and stuff about this. It's very sad. Um, I really loved the character Sue. If for some reason um, in the future somebody makes a drama or a movie adaptation of this, I would absolutely love to see um, Kim Taeyeon in the part of Sue, because honestly, in um, in her recent music video Rain, she looks a lot like Sue, um, and also she's one of my favorite Korean singers. Um, I'm sure there, there would probably be some like outrage that she's Korean and not Japanese, but um, she's she knows Japanese, she's worked in Japanese um, with her group Girls' Generation, so I don't think there would be a problem there. Um, but yes, um, this, this story, so, so good. The setting for this book was just perfect, in my opinion. It's very steampunk-ish, sort of. Um, a lot of technology, but also a lot of a lot of technology that seems to be old. Like for example, you know, look at that microphone, 
Um, there's a radio at some point in this, and it's like a huge thing. Um, she's using, this character is using a phone with a cord. Um, and it's just really, really interesting, really steampunk. Um, really, like, fantastic fantasy world, sort of, but also with, you know, some, some gothic, um, gothic type window designs, buildings, very, very appealing to me. So like I said, the experimental style of the panel layouts in this manga were very, um, very refreshing. Um, I really think that the panel layouts totally fit with this type of story. Um, I mean, this is one of those manga where once you read it once, if you read it again, you'll see new things. Um, I'm definitely going to read this again. Um, it's definitely a valued part of my collection. and. Um, I absolutely love these colored illustrations back here. Um, I'm not even that big of a Clamp fan. I don't like everything that they do. Um, I do like Cardcaptor Sakura, but I haven't added that to my collection yet. Um, I used to own one of the Japanese volumes of Cardcaptor Sakura, but I don't know where it went. Um, <laughs> so. Yeah, I'm totally inspired by this artwork. So beautiful, so detailed. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing a um, fan art video um, of Sue in the future, and if that goes well, I should be able to sell some prints of that. Um, and also, yeah, there's ads back here too. Eden, it's an, it's an endless world. Totally out of print and super rare. Anyway, I guess if I were to give this a rating, I don't know. I don't really like giving ratings, I guess, five out of five. Or like, basically, I really enjoyed this. I really, really enjoyed this. This is like exactly the kind of manga that I like. Um, even though it's not complete, I, I hope that maybe one day Clamp can complete it because I was really intrigued by this world, by the story. So thanks again for watching this video, um, and hopefully I'll be making some more reviews in the future. If you've seen any series that I own on my shelf that you would like me to make a review about, you know, feel free to mention it in the comments. If you've read Clover and you have feelings about it in any way, which I'm, ass I'm assuming, you know, you either love it or you hate it or you're just kind of blah about it, um, I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Um, I'm not really one of those people that gets upset when someone doesn't like what I like. I feel like that's kind of childish and not even just childish, but honestly kind of silly because there are like legitimate things in this world to be upset about and I don't think that because someone doesn't like a game that you like or a movie or a manga that you should let it rip you up inside. So um, yeah, comment below and see you guys later. Bye!